this is one of the results coming out of that. How are you jealous about the name because you invented it? But <laughs> actually, <that's> not... <laughs> we call it vibranium, which is for the geeks of you. Captain America has a shield made of vibranium. It's probably the safest material that I know. <laughs> so it's not that difficult to be more efficient than uh, the the rails. I mean, it's a dinosaur, right? But there are also structural. Uh, reason why it's a dinosaur. First, it costs too much, okay? Imagine Los Angeles, San Francisco, we're talking about $68 billion. If we spend $10 million, he's, he's gonna fire me because we, we can do much better than this. But there's also another reason, is if you are familiar with the concept of standard coach, is the distance between the two rails, okay? And it's a standard, 70% of the rails has this. But not a lot of people knows why this is a standard worldwide. And it's incredible to say, but it's the Roman chariot, okay? So we are building the most advanced transportation system uh, on rail, that is ice rail, out of the butt of two horses. Oh, basically. That's true. <laughs> so, but the, the scary thing is that if you, if you build it, 30 centimeters more, you can have more uh, passenger and more freight. Why are not they doing it, right? Because they don't need to innovate. So one of the biggest problems that we have is actually that there's no rail line or metro line in the world that's profitable. Public transportation is heavily subsidized, okay? So we're spending a huge amount of tax money to basically pay for them for their inefficiency. So the LA Metro, as an example, 76 cents per passengers, and $2.50 are coming out of uh, taxpayers' money. But that's not only in LA, it's everywhere in the world. So we can source this. And they're not the worst, because if you see the other cities, uh, on the top list of the most spender, Virginia goes up to $6.5. So it's a situation that's all over the planet. It's not only America. So just to give you guys an idea, the New York Metro loses $2.2 billion a year. Okay. So normally these kinds of things are done behind closed doors. You hear about the Metro, about the train, you hear there's a hyperloop between Bratislava and Vienna. Um, well, that's the last thing you hear. Maybe you hear how much it's going to cost. But you don't hear anything anymore. What we do is, we actually work with the crowd. We do something that we call crowdstorming. And crowdstorming is basically working with you. Creating an ecosystem, because that's what's needed in order to solve these issues. It's not us. We're working on one thing, but there's so many opportunities. So what we're actually doing today is that we are announcing one of the first innovation challenges that we are doing as hybrid. We call it, this one is the digital innovation challenge. So, as I said, we want to create an ecosystem. We're going to be building a platform that allows you to book any trip, local or intercontinental, based on your settings. And there's going to be a marketplace. So companies now can, based on the data, who you are, where you're coming from, where you are, and where you're going, build solutions and make money and solve the same issues that we're having today. So that people doesn't have to wait for his luggage anymore because maybe it's being delivered directly to his house. Or maybe he finds a girlfriend. Maybe. <laughs> Because someone comes up with a decent. <laughs> almost time, right? <laughs> so we're doing this together with our partners with AWS, with d from Deutsche Bahn and Lufthansa Innovation, as well as Catalyst, which is actually one of, one of the top companies in Austria. As I said earlier, it's all about collaboration, solving things together. That's the essence of what we are. So. We obviously want to welcome you on the 6th of July in Bratislava at the airport. No better location than that. And yeah, join us. Join our team and we are all wishing to create a better future for everybody. Thank you very much and join the team.